Now to that brazen attempt on board a U.S. Airways flight, a man posing as a pilot walking right into the cockpit and taking a seat. ABC's David Curley tonight on the co-pilot who smartly began asking questions. It was a U.S. Airways jetliner in Philly that this man was able to sneak into the cockpit with a ticket and dress like a pilot. That landed 61-year-old Frenchman Philippe Gernard into a jail cell tonight. Authorities tell us Gennard on Wednesday was wearing an Air France logo shirt and a leather jacket. He asked for an upgrade at the gate. He was denied and said, that's why I hate Americans. He then boarded the plane, but instead of going to his seat, he entered the cockpit. He sat down in one of the airplane's jump seats. In that cockpit, the co-pilot starts asking questions. Gennard says he flies 747s. Then the gate agent enters the cockpit, recognizing the passenger, and tells the Frenchman to leave. Police are called and they discovered that Gennard has a crude fake Air France ID. Well, it's concerning because we don't know what his designs were. Aviation experts say the security system worked. The suspect wasn't in the cockpit when the plane was operating and never posed a danger. But another imposter was successful last fall. In the cockpit, this man, who was arrested in Italy after making a flight dressed as a pilot. One report suggests he had Hollywood as an inspiration. Come fly with me. Right out of the movie. You're a little late, but the jump seat is open. Catch me if you can. Frank Taylor, Pan Am, thanks for giving me a lift, boys. But unlike the Leonardo DiCaprio conman character, this character, Philippe Gernard, never got off the ground. Authorities are telling us that Gennard flew from France and was headed to Florida to play golf. Tonight, he's being held on a million dollars bail. Among the charges, criminal trespass, and impersonation. David? David Curley at Reagan National tonight. David, thank you. I wanted to bring in our aviation expert, John Nance, tonight. And John, when we heard this today, we couldn't believe it. This guy gets on instead of turning right down the aisle. He makes a left turn right into the cockpit. How does this happen? Well, first of all, the cockpit door is very often open on the ground before we start closing things up. So that part is understandable. But what a, I can't believe the guy thought he could get away with this. And, you know, this happened before the plane actually pushed back. So what are the chances he could have pulled this off any longer here? The chances are pretty much absolute zero. And the reason is the first thing we're going to do, any pilot is going to ask for the paperwork. There's got to be something from the company. It's got to be a good ID. He failed on both those counts. And even if those are good, uh, you're still going to have an exchange as pilots. And we're going to know within just a few seconds that this is not really a pilot.